John Wick is um, a man who and has had a life as a legendary hitman assassin, uh, which we come to learn during the course of the film. Um, and when we meet him, he is kind of thrown, he's moved away from, let's call it the dark side, and uh, he's kind of leading a more traditional life. Um, his wife is ill, his life partner. And, um, she ends up passing, and uh, she sends him a letter and a gift of a dog. A companion and in the letter she says I know you need someone or something to love and this idea of he needs something to ground him in this way yeah working on the action in John Wick was uh, really exciting it was like such an opportunity the directors come from a stunt background uh, they have action design company that have done films like the Hunger Games Expendables uh, 300 um, so there was a real high expectation, a high opportunity, and so they put me in kind of like John Wick boot camp. So I was doing judo, jiu-jitsu, working with a few different people with, um, with weapons training, tactical training, and uh, then I also did some car driving. So I was doing like 180s, 90s, 360s, forwards, backwards, and then learning how to do you know, some drifting and shoot people out of the car while you're drifting. Um, so that was really exciting, and uh, you know, we were just trying to raise the bar. Yeah, the cast in John Wick is amazing. Um, you know, I was, I, you know, loved Willem Dafoe for so long, and uh, Ian McShane, and uh, you know, working with John Leguizamo and um, Alfie, you know, and Andrew, Adrian Palicki, um, you know, this. John Wick has these different worlds in it, you know, and there's this underworld of the criminals, the code, um, the honor amongst thieves. And so there's these great characters and these great moments that, that John, in a way, through his journey, passes with and through. Um, and so, you know, when you're working with actors of this caliber, and every character has so much backstory and so much mystery, um, it's just fun to play like you're with them and there's just, you know, you're both kind of agreeing to go into this, into this world um, and it just gives you so much to play. Yeah, I first met Chad Stahelski, one of the directors in 1998. Uh, he was working as a stuntman on The Matrix and he's, he, he worked for the character I played, uh, Thomas Anderson and, and Neo. And then I worked with him on the second two films of the trilogy and I met David Leach there. Over the course of years, I had worked with them on different films and kept in touch. I originally went to them for uh, action design for John Wick, but I was really secretly hoping that they would want to direct it. Um, they read it, they loved it, and then they told myself and the other producer, Basil Iwanek, the vision for the movie. Um, and you know, from this great script to what it would be on screen, and you know, Chad and Dave, you know, I feel like really realized their vision to a fresh, exciting, you know, funny world creation, entertaining movie. And for us, we had a shorthand. We had a shorthand and a trust um, that, for me, uh, you know, was great to have in, in the, such an intense experience.